For those who do not know, rebar, also known as the vein rebar, is one of the commonly used steel materials in the construction industry. With a long bar structure on each body, there will often be stripes very special imposing. So today, I and you guys will learn how to make rebar. The mass rebar making process. As one of the popular materials, rebar is used and applied in many fields with the characteristics of heat resistance, good bearing capacity, high hardness, and durability. This steel is often used in all concrete industrial buildings, civil buildings, and other buildings and offices, with rooms as hydraulic projects, bridges, and roads. Therefore, Rebar is considered a product that is sought and trusted by many families, organizations, and businesses in the market. The steel production process includes many closely closed stages, from the input stage to the product output stage. At a mass rebar factory, they will buy the big blocks of steel made from recycled scrap depending on the design purpose, to choose the appropriate shape. As this is a factory for the production of veined round rebar in Korea, so they will choose the vertical steel blocks and then start working on it. After the steel ore is fed from the top of the blast furnace and then blown hot air, they will use more coke. As the burning of coke will lead the carbon monoxide, or CO, gas that are generated. When the temperature in the furnace reaches 2000 degrees Celsius, the steel ore will transform into a molten steel more quickly. As next comes the secondary steel making stage. In this process, the line will put the molten steel into the forming press system to wear and cut the steel automatically. The smaller the cross section, the faster the rod moves. As the line of multiple presses compress the red hot billets into longer bars and smaller diameters, as in the final stage, rebar products after casting and a temperature treatment will then be processed and finished according to the customer's requirements. Next is the steel and steel factory from Korea. But what is different here 
is that they want to make a cylindrical rebar. That is why when they will choose a coiled steel as a raw material. As this worker will put the steel into the bending furnace to create the right billet shape, he will connect the previous coil to be pre-installed and then weld it together. After plasticizing the steel and polishing the steel, it is time to shape the steel canola. Once they have a suitable cylindrical steel block, they will control the line to put the steel into a hot casting and heat treatment. Then cut into pieces and punching the two ends of the steel as the final process for completing. As instead of doing it all by machining system, manual steel making will take more time, but you certainly won't be disappointed. As after buying hundreds of steel bars, this man put the steel bars one by one into the furnace to heat the molten steel. After successful heating, the worker will use a stick and put the molten bars still in shape to perform the beveling and abrasive cutting as the workers will take turns cutting the bevel of the steel many times until the suitable shape of rebar is produced finally as usual they will control them with a cooler and then let it cool naturally as looking at these images from above are you excited this is probably the most amazing scene that I have ever seen, as the formed steel are being adjusted by cutting, bending and welding and a surface machining system to create the quality rebar products. As the use of supporting machinery that will help the employees save time as well as protect the environment when producing steel. As in general, Today the rebar products are used quite commonly with a diverse design and they are considered to have greater durability than concrete, rusty or corroded rebars should also be avoided as they can present a safety risk. So how do you feel about the mass rebar making process? Let us know by commenting down below, don't forget to click the like, share and subscribe button to support the channel and have more motivation to make more good videos. As for now, goodbye, and see you in the next video.